Hi, this is Kavita Suresh Kumar and in this video I am going to demonstrate how to integrate two ServiceNow instances using REST. I have logged into my two ServiceNow instances. You can see the instance ID here. This is the first instance and this is the second instance. The first step is we need to create a new user for integration. So let me go and add the new user. Click all, search for users, click users, click new. So I'm going to give this user, the name is integration user. And this user I'm going to give permission only to communicate through the APIs. So that's why I'm going to give only the accesses, web service access only. So using this user, you will not be able to log into the service now. Now click submit. Select this user now. So now let us set a password for this user click generate copy the password save password click close now let us go to the first service now instance so here we are going to add a rest message click rest message then click new I'll give the name as instance one two instance two integration. So we need to give the endpoint URL. So for that we need to copy the URL from the uh, second system. So before that, since I have copied the password, I will add the basic authentication information here click new so we'll give the name as integration so I have given the integration name username is integration I have pasted the password click submit so now we have added the basic auth profile now let us go to the instance 2 and copy the endpoint URL REST API Explorer so we are going to post a record so click create a post a record so what we wanted to achieve here is whenever an incident is created in instance 1 we want that in same instance to be created in instance 2 so let's copy this URL put it here so since we want the incident to be copied so the table we need to use is incident let's submit this so actually we wanted to do a post so click HTTP methods already we can see there is a default get has been created now click new and then let's do a post create incident on instance 2 okay method you need to select as post so the endpoint since already we have added in the rest message even if you don't give that's okay now click submit so now we could see there is a create incident on instance 2 post but that has been added click this so let's test it it has created an instance but since we have not provided any kind of an information it has created some kind of a dummy instance so let's go and check for this instance in the instance 2 right so this is the instance which just got created now the caller is the integration user go back so 
select this again so here you have an option preview script usage open that this provides you the script which can be used in the business rules let's copy this business rules click a new business rule the business rule is a server side script that get executed whenever an insert update or delete some action happens so let's give the business rule a name create incident on instance 2 table we need to select incident table so then we need to put the conditions when to run so we want this to be run whenever there is an insert happens so click insert right and we want to add the script so click advanced so here we need to say when this is after the incident is created here okay so go to advanced okay so here we'll add the code which we copied right so you can clearly see this code it says it is going to do a rest message invocation for this particular rest message okay so all these information is available here so here if you wanted to change the authentication profile you can do that if you are using any mid server so you'll be able to provide the mid server name here right so now we need to add the request body so let's add it where body so i am going to uh, add two specific fields one is the short description and the other one is the caller id so i am going to copy the data from the the current instance current dot get display value and then i need to give the field name which is the caller id here short description current dot get display value to give short description then give a same color r dot set request body so now it is in a json format so we need to do a stringify then give the json body so now we have set the request body as this okay so let's submit this so now let us go and create a new incident click first i'm going to change the caller i'm going to select give the caller name as alisa then i'm going to give a short description so here i'm going to say email not working then click submit let us search for the incident so this is the incident which we created in instance 1 let's search for the same incident in instance 2 we could see the incident 244 in the instance 2 so we could see the caller is alisha monjoy in this video we have seen how to integrate two service now instances using rest Thanks for watching the demo.